Hi YouTube! Welcome to my second video blog. Um, apologies that it's late. As you may be able to hear, I'm quite ill at the moment and yesterday I couldn't talk at all. So apologies that this is a day late. Um, today I'm going to talk about why I feel that being entertaining is the most important thing a piece of theatre can be um, before anything else. Um, that might sound controversial to some people, as some people I know, because um, when you're involved in creating theatre, um, the reason that you do it, well, for many people I know, um, is because you want to um, tell people how amazing the world is through theatre and get them to think about the big questions and discuss the big questions and perform those shows that deal with big stuff and um, not just people sitting on the couch um couch that's very american on the sofa um and i'm one of those people as well i get fired up by that kind of stuff i've seen many many shows that have changed my life and the way that i view things and i think theater definitely has the power to do that um and that's a very worthy thing to want to do and create and it's why we do it um, but I think quite a few people forget that the main point of us as actors, performers, writers, directors, choreographers, set designers is to entertain our audience. That's why people go to the theatre to be entertained. Um, that might feel like, oh my god, I'm selling out because I'm just making something entertaining. Um, but I'm going to explain why being entertaining facilitates the whole make the world a better place um, through theatre argument. Um, firstly, I think that through theatre we're able to ask and discuss the big questions in a way that for the audience is safe. Um, questions like the nature of morality, what makes you a good person, is it your actions or how people perceive your actions, um, where do we go when we die, um, the, what, what is our responsibility in terms of our political order or things like that. I'm making things out of thin air. Um, I'm sure there are shows that deal with all of those topics. Um, but those questions are quite difficult to ask just in normal everyday life, either because you don't have the time because you're busy living life, or it's just freaking scary and depressing stuff to think about. Um, and so we don't think about it because then it's depressing or tiring or gets us frustrated because we don't know the answers. Um, Whereas through the medium of a show, you're detached from it so you can see a scenario that might come up and think, well, how would I react that way? Or did the characters react in a way that I think is right? It's a way of kind of detaching us from the big questions so we can think about them and not be like, ah, oh, my life. Um, secondly, and I think this is the more practical reason, if an audience wanted to be lectured on the nature of good and evil, or their role in political systems, or saving the planet, or the nature of fate, then they would go to a lecture, or they would go to a political rally, or they would go and hear someone talk at Greenpeace about why the environment is so important. They wouldn't choose to go to the theatre. Um, and if they go and see a show and they're not entertained, they're going to walk out, they're going to leave, and they're going to ask for their money back. And then you won't have achieved your ulterior motive of teaching people about all these big questions that you want to ask through your art. Um, so ask all those big questions because they make our art important to us as creators of art. And for the people who will get it, it will make your art so much deeper and so much more meaningful and will change will change their lives. Um, but 
you still need to make them want to stay to have that experience. You still need to entertain them to get them to stay and find out that amazing thing. And some, audi some audience members will completely get it and be like, oh my gosh, it was amazing. Some audience members will not get it, but still be like, it was a really good story and I loved the characters. They might not think any more of it, but they would have enjoyed themselves and they would have got something out of it. Um, even if it was just two hours of suspending their disbelief, which is also an awesome thing that I think theatre is really important for. We need to suspend our needs, our, our disbelief sometimes. Um, but yeah, I feel that being entertaining is just as important as all of those things. And without being entertaining, it's very easy to lose all of the other things that you want to achieve. And that is what I wanted to say today. Um, let me know if you agree, because if you don't, that's cool. You can comment. Um, I also wrote a blog last week about Michael Gove and people hating on opera singers not being super thin. So I'll put a link in the description for that as well, if you'd like to read it. Um, so yeah, tune in in two weeks' time, where I'll do a, another blog post on something else I care about. I'll try and put it up on Monday, health and non-coldness notwithstanding. Okay, see you later guys, bye!